So let's go into like final words of wisdom. I mean, if, if an entrepreneur, like your ideal avatar is listening right now and you can, can communicate to them and right now they're unpublished, they have no books, like what's the words of insight would you give to them? Uh, I think that what I want them to do is imagine themselves with one and without one. I, I think because right now, if you don't have a book, if you've never had a book, you're just going to continue to do the same thing that you've always done. And so nothing's going to change is that, that uh, the whole story of, you know, if you don't make it a, a change, nothing's going to change. Are you completely happy with where you are? Are you completely happy with, with the idea of not having it out there? And to just think about the kind of things that a book unlocks when you get it out. Uh, it unlocks doors to consultancy. It unlocks doors to, to new streams of revenue that you hadn't found. Any business person is looking for new streams of revenue. I think that if you think about what a book can do for you, you're getting more doors open for you that would not otherwise be there. Um, so I, I think that sometimes a book might be leaving their comfort zone, but then that's why we exist because we do a lot of packages that involve ghostwriting, that involve helping someone uh, strategize the book, put it together. And it's becoming easier right now to get a book put together and done than it ever has before. Uh, I believe Entrepreneur Magazine did an article a couple of years ago that said in nonfiction by next year, hybrid publishing will outstrip traditional publishing in nonfiction. Uh, just because of how much, how easier it is becoming for someone that has that material in them to do it. And I think the main word of wisdom I would have for them is that don't be afraid of your idea. Hmm. Don't think I, I, one of the most obvious, one of the most regular uh, uh, objections that I have is, well, you know, everybody, I, I'm just going to write something anybody else has written. My story is not different. My story is not unique. That's completely untrue. You're, don't be afraid of your idea. Everybody is a completely unique and different story. My story is different than anybody else's. I mean, I, I told you about being a nerd, being yet also doing history, doing all, these, these things are mine. They're not anyone else's. Um, I can be the only person that can write my book and to anyone that's listening, you're the only person that can write your book. And whether it may be that you're writing the 50th book on cloud computing and digital transformation, because I know that's one of our most popular topics right now, digital transformation. Um, yeah, you're, it's the only book about digital transformation that you can write. <laughs> so don't be afraid of it. Uh, somebody's going to find value in that, that you didn't even think it was. And that drove me as a teacher too, that no matter how many students, if I could reach one kid and, and, and change their lives for the better, then that was beneficial to me. And that was, that was a success. And I reached a lot more than one. So definitely don't consider that a bit of wasted time in my career.